So, I just seen a new movie on Netflix. Terrible. Are you okay? I don't know. Yeah, what the fuck just happened? That's kind of the vibe of the movie. So, Horse Girl, 2020 film, Netflix original. Netflix just cranking them the fuck out. And, um, you know, I was scrolling, and I'm like, what is this? Alice and Brie, that's my girl. You ever seen Glow? You ever seen Community? Good shows. So you're like, let me see what this preview's about. Starts off a little slow. You're like, okay. Sarah, put the phone down. Sarah, put the phone down. I can hear the future. Oh, oh, it's that kind of movie. We start off with our main character who's working in a, like a arts and crafts store. And, you know, she seems just like a normal person, maybe a little bland, you know, unenthused, doesn't look like she has much friends, whatever like that. And then as the movie goes on, because, you know, you got to give it some time. You know, it's one of those, it's, a, it's not, I'm not going to call it a slow burn. I'm going to call it like a medium burn. But like once you get like into it, you're like into it. And then, uh, and then it just gets crazy. And then it just like fucking punches you in the face because you're just like, I don't know what's happening. And that's my kind of movie, just trying to figure out what's going on. You know, like by the midway point of the movie, like you're just fucked. Like you just don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. I'm not sure what the movie was fully about. I mean, I am sure. Is it mental health? Is it alien abductions? Is it time travel? Is it all three? C could be. All right, so here's, the, here's like a, a quick synopsis of the movie. Spoiler alert. God. But, so, the main issue is that uh, her grandmother suffered from mental health issues. Her mother suffered from mental health issues. Her mother had committed suicide from depression. Her grandmother thought she was from the future, was crazy, wandered up on the streets, whatever the case. And um, it turns out our main character looks exactly identical to the grandmother. She starts to believe that she's a clone of the grandmother to the point where um, she starts telling the one love interest that she wants of getting involved with about it and he thinks she's batshit crazy and then she just starts spiraling out of control she's losing time she sees someone else that she uh encountered in what she believed to be a dream or an abduction she starts following him around it's it's like it's an intense roller coaster ride Kara? i'm just really scared you're safe i promise you this is crazy nothing makes sense nothing makes sense is this girl crazy or is this happening and then you have some kind of confirmation at some point in the movie where it's kind of like she meets another person that she encountered where she had also been experiencing some things like this um said she went to sleep in like 1995 and woke up in the present day and that was like uh someone that she was also encountering in these white rooms that she believed to be like a large mass abduction room Hey, hi. So, I just saw a movie. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? Yeah, that's kind of how this movie's been going. In the beginning of the movie, she had met a woman that had uh, told her about a certain color. It was kind of something similar to this. It's not really the color, but you get the point. It's like a peach. And she's like, the peach is like a protective color, and it's supposed to help. And so she just becomes obsessed with this color. And it's just everywhere, and she's just putting it on everything, and she's just doing her best to protect herself from these alien gods of technology. Uh, yeah, hey. You know, the, the scary part about the movie is it's like uh, it delves so far into mental health issues that you're like, you, you start to feel like, um, like maybe she's just slipping into schizophrenia. And then um, there's parts in the movie where you really start to feel like, wow, like this is what it looks like to watch somebody slip into madness. like. I think uh, we should give Alison Brie a fucking hand for just like uh, doing such a great job. And then she just snapped out of that shit. And um, she became like a little bit more sane after a couple of uh, words that she encountered from the girl in her room. That says she was from the past. Well, I'm not gonna say she just snapped out of it. The experience she went through enlightened her and made her feel like uh, she wasn't crazy. Ultimately, after all was said and done, she kind of came to the conclusion that um, she was, in fact, her grandma. People always said that my grandma was so crazy. Now I think that she wasn't crazy at all because I'm feeling it. She was, in fact, her mother's mother and her mother's child and that the alien abduction slash whatever the hell was happening to her was somehow transporting her between time. 
if it's anything that made you feel like time the time travel element was definitely real it's one moment at the beginning of the movie that is also reflected at the end of the movie where there's a horse scene the tail end of a horse scene walking by the shop that she's in while she's inside that shop and then at the end of the movie she takes a horse by that shop and is the person that is holding that horse when it is seen by herself and another well herself didn't really see it but that's like the one thing that kind of brings it full circle where you're you're convinced that the time travel element is totally 100% real and um that she is in fact her own grandmother and then she goes on to say in an interview that um she she based the movie off of her experience with her grandmother that her grandmother had gone through some mental health issues and it was a big uh thing in her family and that she suffers from um feelings that maybe she might one day succumb to these mental health issues and that um it was a big impact on her mother and it just like you know it was just a web of that just like encompassed the whole family and so this was kind of like um i mean i don't i don't think this was like the true experience of it but it draws a lot from that experience and i could just only imagine what it could be like for both parties like on the outside just watching this person seemingly say these crazy things and then from the other perspective where the person you know believes their truth but uh i don't know like i think you should see for yourself i mean it's not it's not a movie that's for everyone if you're not the kind of person that likes to try to figure things out that likes being confused for most of the movie like uh trying to figure out what's real and what's not it might not be for you but uh it was, it was for me like and um I would recommend the movie. I mean, it's no Oscar winner. It's no Academy Award winner, but it's definitely something to look into. Like, I mean, I, I haven't seen the Joker movie yet, but I mean, from what I hear, it's a psychological, like, uh, thriller ride, like roller coaster ride of what's real and what's not. So if you enjoyed that movie, I, I assume you'll enjoy this movie. Uh, I've heard it compared to Donnie Darko, which was uh, another movie you had to watch a few times just to, like to understand what the hell was going on. Maybe one day this will have a cult following because it's weird as fuck and it's just like entertaining and Alice and Bree's like just fucking amazing and she's got a boobs out at some point. I mean, that's a plus. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I know I that it sounds crazy. Okay. I know it sounds really crazy, but it just feels really real. Yeah, I don't know. I lost time again. Anyway, like, subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. And if you get a chance to check out my other videos, you can do that too. Because I just make all types of videos on here. I'm trying this out. I don't usually do movie reviews. But hey, maybe I could. Because uh, I just checked it out. And I was like, this is a fucking kick-ass movie. So why not watch it? Why not do a review about it? Yeah, so catch y'all on the flip side. All Star out.